What's going on guys, it's your boy R34 and today we're looking at a tutorial on Minecraft and this is how to actually get a Minecraft bucket server and this is a very nifty tutorial here because I'm going to be showing you a auto installer so it actually takes all the hard work out of actually installing a craft bucket server because it's very much limitless because there's so many commands and so many plugins that you can actually have into the server but if you really wanted to install it manually it's just a headache you just you gotta type in so many commands you gotta do this and that and this is a very simple way and I guess it's a newbie tutorial because in this day and age I'm considered a newbie because I actually use it because I don't really don't want to mess around with so many commands because that's just head breaking and I'm sure you guys are not gonna want to watch that so all you gotta just do is just click on the link in the description it's a get it website here and it's just such as the same as Mediafire game front and all this stuff all you gotta really just do you just click on the download right here and it will just take a second or two while that's downloading let me tell you the special thanks to the person who actually made this auto installer I'll put a link in the description to their forum and all I really just did was download their file and just put the 1.2.5 jar file in there because without it it can't run so this is just an easier way and all I'm not taking no credit at all they're that's all their credit so go ahead and just like their posts and all that stuff so while this is downloading it says zero seconds but just <laughs> like wait for that thing Oh yeah, also while we're waiting, if you don't have, there you go, if you don't have WinRAR or 7-Zip, go ahead and just download it. It's a free program, so once you have finished downloading, just go ahead and double click on it. And you can exit out your internet browser for now. And you will see a folder called Craft Bucket. Just go ahead and drag it to your desktop. While that's finishing, go while that I'm not while finishing when it's finished I mean go ahead and exit out the archive itself and go ahead and double click on craft bucket the folder all you gotta just do is just click on the craft bucket starter now if everything is running smoothly for now you should have so many of these freaking text here and you'll just see something here called preparing spawn area and such and such percent and if it if you're right here that means you're okay for now and you're gonna see all of these folders out of nowhere and this is when the world is actually being spawned itself like right here it says preparing spawn area so I guess this is open up the world spawning the world whatever you wanna call it so just wait for this to do to actually spawn the world so just gotta be patient and there you go once it says done here just go ahead and click on not click type in stop in the command here press enter and just wait until it says press any key to continue it just takes a moment depends on your speed of your computer and all this stuff so there you go press any key to continue just press enter there you go you can press one whatever it doesn't really matter guys and to actually make this work and to log into our server we are going to need our IP and most people well most common people don't really know their IP and here it is I'm actually going to show you how to find out your IP so all you gotta really do is just click on the start button on the windows and type in run in the search bar then type in CMD is really just short for command and once you have done that go ahead and press okay and you're gonna see here that your user and your name or the person who has this computer or whatever and all you really gotta just do is just type in IP config so IP C O N F I G it's really how it just sounds just type it out like that once you have done that go ahead and press enter and now we gotta scroll up just a tad here and we gotta locate our IP v4 address and it will be like well obviously your address will be a lot different from mine so once you have located that we're gonna look up server and you're gonna see two of these I guess text documents that say server but you're gonna look for the one that says properties file once you have done that just go ahead and double click on it and you'll notice if you clicked on the wrong one it will be completely different from this one so 
you will know which one you clicked. If you clicked it incorrectly, you will know. So all you gotta just do is just locate server IP and you'll see it's blank. So what you're gonna do is just type in the IPv4 address right there. So while I type mine, go ahead and type in yours. Wow, mine ends with 69. What an odd number. So once you have done that, go ahead and click on file and save. There you go. Go ahead and exit out the notepad itself. And you can obviously now exit out the command here. And to actually make yourself actually be able to break blocks because without this step right here you're not going to be able to break blocks you will be once you break the block it will just regenerate itself so it will look like if you're not even there all you gotta really just do is just op yourself or op yourself whatever it's almost just like an admin so all you gotta just do is just find this ops ops whatever text document here double click on it and just type in your minecraft name Mine is Escalon 209 and once you have done that just go ahead and click on save, file, save, exit out the text document itself and now we're on the finishing stretch here and all you really got to do is just click on the craft bucket starter again. You can exit out the Minecraft, uh, I mean not the Minecraft, the bucket server folder if you really want to or minimize it and let's go boot up Minecraft and hopefully everything works out just fine and dandy because it needs to work out <laughs> because if not you got you probably got lost somewhere in the steps or you probably did some wrong step incorrectly and there you go see I reconnected to my server it's 192.168.1.69 and obviously yours will be a lot different so and if you didn't remember your IP I would just do the run again and just find it again and I'm sure you probably remember it but just find or just type the IP here let me just do this a lot easier delete add server all you gotta just put is server address I already know mine from memory because I have done this so many times just crazy and I always know it ends with 69 there you go just go ahead and double click on the server and, but damn holy shit it's trying to drown me fucking minecraft hates me there you go and I, now you're gonna see that I actually can break blocks because if I didn't open myself or add my admin it whoa I, I can even say that make myself admin there you go I couldn't break these blocks it would just like regenerate like that it would have just done like that so this is just if you don't do this step you will just you will just see and you probably will just comment below so I think this actually wraps up the video but just to make sure all you're going to do is just disconnect from the server and just exit out minecraft and once you're done playing minecraft with your friends on the server or whatever all you really got to do is just click on stop just on the command here and just see how it's saving chunks and press any key to continue press enter i really just press enter but it doesn't really matter and there because if you don't do that step your file will get corrupted and you won't save your uh, world and stuff and crap I didn't really even show you all the plugins but there's so many plugins there's like I guess TP yourself to teleport yourself there are spawn items there's so many things to this uh, I really should show you but I'm sure you guys really know how to do it but I think this actually wrap it's, wraps this up whoa man getting big again keep saying that but freak I can't speak so till next time guys I'm out peace